Flat fall with a rockfish on it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the rockfish I pulled up was like that big. Cod special here with cooking with Eddie. What's happening today? As you can tell from the thumbnail, we got a couple lean cod heads ready to go. Look at we never realized it, but look at all this meat in here. That is look, look at that. That is all meat. That's like two inches thick of meat right there. And then the cheeks right here, super, super squishy. Oh, right there. Look, look, look how f far my finger just pushes in right there. The cheeks are all meat. Up here's solid. This is all meat right here, right behind the gill plates. All this meat back inside here is all meat. So, we're going to try something new. But yeah, so here we go. We're going to give this a test. Hopefully it turns out being a cool little delicacy. If so, then we'll do this from here on. And uh, you're gonna, you're gonna live this first ever experience with us. So, without further ado, let's get on into this video. What's happening, everybody? Thanks for spending another uh, day with us and uh, cooking with Chef Eddie. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cook some lean cod heads over here. We've got a little death contraption going up, wiring the jaw shut. Let's get a little zoom in on that if we can. So this is the wire jaw shut method, and to that, what we're going to do is we're gonna do monster lean cod cooking. Not beer can chicken, this is monster lean cod. To this one, and we're gonna stuff this with some rosemary, some minced garlic, some olive oil, and good old Casadora's tequila. Now, maybe a little bit of water, because uh, we want it to steam from the inside and get it all nice. On the big one, we're gonna do a different method. We're gonna use some brown sugar, some paradise pineapple teriyaki, can of coke, and we're gonna use some of these little oranges. We're gonna mix it all together and do two different concoctions, and then we'll pull this all together and we'll do two different taste tests. So let's get started. All right guys, let's go ahead and make the uh, first one. So I've got a monster can, pulled off the tab, got it all nice and clean, that's why it's wet. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of water in it, not much, a little drizzle. Got my handy dandy little funnel here. To this, I'm gonna take some minced garlic, already in its own, own oil. Dump some of that in there. Now you can see I put a lot of the juice in there. Let's go ahead and stuff it in there. Got my wire, kind of filter it through right here. Let's shove it in. And let's add some olive oil. And then we're gonna add some good old Casadores tequila. So let's make a little mental note. It's right here, right above. I'm assuming by the time we pour it, we're gonna be right here in the middle of his antler. Let's see. Just above. Just above. You don't want it overpowering. Go ahead and take that out. So right now, look at the liquid mark. My liquid mark is right here. So just above halfway full. We're gonna take some fresh rosemary from the garden, shove that in there. A little swirl. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our wired shut link cut. We have a can in here already just because we wanted to make sure it would fit. And we're gonna slide it over to this. You can see we pretty much hollowed it out right inside here. You do want the, the purpose of the wire jaw is you want it to steam from the inside. So even though it's wired, we're still gonna cover it with some foil so the steam from the inside will cook everything from underneath. Let's go ahead and put this in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it up with foil. Let me rinse my hands. Let's go ahead and make the second round. To this, I've got a brand new open box of brown sugar. 
We're going to add some of that in here. We are going to take this pineapple paradise teriyaki sauce. It's pretty good. I'm gonna, it's pretty thick as you can see. So I'm going to put up just a hair, just a little bit of water. We're going to add some Coke. I'm going to pour a little bit in here first. Just a little bit. I'm going to give it a good shake. Let's get everything out of there. Brown sugar and teriyaki sounds a lot familiar to a different episode. We're pretty close, except we're not using carb. <laughs> so you see it's got real, it got real watery, and that's what we want. We're going to add that to our brown sugar. What we're looking for is hopefully that it cleaned up the jar pretty darn good. Um, so that's why we start from there. I've got three small little, what are these stupid things called? Baby cuties. So I've cut them in half. We're going to put the juice inside there. These are pretty nice and small. I'm going to go in there. Save them. And let's give it a good little whisk. You can see it darkening up right there. That's just because of the brown sugar. You want it to liquefy. And to this, what we're going to do, we're going to take our lean cod. We're going to put some of these right here. We put some of these inside. That's why I wanted you to save these right here. Put the remaining on the bottom. I'm going to lay them flat side down just like this. Okay. What I want to do, I'm going to pour a little bit inside the cavity here. And then we're going to put it all over. And then we cover. Yourself. Yeah. To this, what we're going to do is I'm going to go do it on the grill. I've got my grill already heating up at about 350 degrees. Unless there's some drippings and it inflated it to 400, it's okay. When I open it, it'll, it'll go back down. Uh, let's go put these on the grill. So we have this one. This was the tequila, rosemary, garlic, a little bit of water, olive oil. Then the dead center. And this one was the brown sugar, pineapple, citrusy uh, link hive. We're gonna put these in there. Make sure if you have that top rack here, make sure it doesn't tip it over. Four forty-five now. Um, probably want to cook this for about uh, 45 minutes or until we figure it's enough because we got to get that liquid to steam up. So we'll take a look here in about uh, 15 minutes to see what it looks like. We checked the temperature and we checked everything at the 15 minute mark. And at the 15 minute mark, 350 degrees seemed like it needed to be kicked up. So we kicked it up to about 550 right now. That's But I've got all my burners down on low. Uh, this just cooks a little hotter so it's at 550. Total cook time is 45 minutes. So we're gonna take this off right now. On the cutting board. So we've got it here, we're getting ready to uh, unveil. Uh, first one we're gonna start with is the tequila rosemary lingcod. Let's take a look. As we're unveiling, it steamed it so good, it's pretty much falling apart. Just like when you're cooking a good rib, come apart. So if you ever wanted to know if this method is effective, as you can see, everything's coming apart. Maybe one of those eyeballs? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. This is what the tongs are for, so that way this liquid's scorching hot. Here's your cheek meat. Two nice fat slabs of cheek. As you can see, everything just comes right off. This is tequila, rosemary, garlic infused lingcod on a monster can. Really good. Really good. Ooh. As you can see, this one is very delicate as well too. Let me see about how much I can pick off before I bring it over to a plate. 
So you can see that's just the middle skull, middle of it. Here's the eyeballs. See, as you can see, I just give it a little whack, the eyeball comes right apart. So this is everything from the sweeter version, and this is all we have left from the tequila. I don't know if it's what we favored or if it was just a smaller head, but that's what's left over. You can just see the amount of meat that's left over, and I just did it really quick just uh, for the sake of this video. Uh, we'll probably pick through it later, but, but it's not something that's going to come out very pretty or anything like that, so it's going to come out kind of shredded as you can see here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, try some eyeballs from the sweet uh, texture here. There's two eyeballs here. I'll let the camera guy pick his first one. I'll take this one. Cheers. Oh, I dropped my eyeball. Air's looking at you. Sick, huh? We're going to eat the other one? 2020 vision? Okay. Do we, uh, here, before we do that, we're going to just drizzle it a little bit with a little bit of uh, tequila Thank on it. Uh, we'll just do a small little drizzle. Oops. Oh, you missed. A little bit there. Tender. All right. Tequila infused eyeball. Elaine, if you're watching this, this is how you got to try it. Saki, this is better than a Saki bomb. Cheers. It's a different taste. If you're squeamish, don't eat it. Um, it just bursts, and that's all I'm going to say there because I know the jokes will come out. So we'll just leave it at that. Um, on a one to ten, it's like eating a fishy gusher. Yeah. That's probably what it's like. A little bit of cartilage in the middle. Um, Your face was priceless. <laughs> if it were me and I do this all over again, I'd go with the sweet one. Sweet one's really, really good. Um, and I suggest you guys try it and give it a chance. But if it don't matter if you do it the, the monster way or the wrapped way. It makes no difference at all. Give it a try. Definitely thumbing up in it. I'm definitely going with this one again right here. And I think you all should try it. There you have it guys, that is how you cook up some lingcod heads, it was surprisingly very, very good. Can't wait for the future to try this out with some yellowtail heads, get some yellowtail collar out of it, I've never tried either one of those. So, as always, give this video a nice big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, check out our other Catch and Cooks if you want to see some more recipes done by Chef Eddie, and we will see you all next time.